The U.S. Census Bureau has released updated statistics for the most recent five-year period showing an increase in overall poverty rates and child poverty rates throughout the city of Rochester. Here now to discuss all this is Dr. Leonard Brock, the executive director of the Rochester Monroe Anti-Poverty Initiative. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So we'll start with those numbers. What's your take when you hear those? It really speaks to the pervasive problem we have of poverty, and it's consistent with the trend line that we saw um, in, in previous reports. And as you look at the census data, it's from a five-year time span that concluded in 2017. So it's consistent with what we've um, discovered years past and hence the creation for the Rochester Monroe Anti-Poverty Initiative. The initiative starting in 2015. At this point, from what I understand, you and the organization are basically asking for patience. Yes. Um, in order to arrive at population change, it takes time. Um, poverty is not something that happened overnight and more importantly before you can get at population level outcomes there are two additional steps there's process measures that you have to engage in before you can get into systems change which are policies practices funding priorities behaviors attitudes and the things that contribute um, and support programmatic outcomes before we can actually get to the point where we are seeing change at the population level so it's going to require a significant amount of patience, but also the work of the entire community in order for us to move the needle and be able to see um, a difference as it relates to the mark on poverty. What part of the initiative are you most excited about right now? I'm most excited about the, the focus. Right now our MAPI is focused on workforce development and basic needs. There are a host of um, pilot efforts we have um, piloted in the past. Um, to permeate practices throughout the service delivery system. I'm also most proud of the systems integration work that is starting to take shape in Rochester, being able to have better coordination and alignment amongst service providers as well as funders, um, the business community, so we can look at this holistically and determine how we all can contribute um, as it relates to our spirit influence to move the needle. So I'm most um, excited about the systems integration effort. Where can people go if they want to learn more about the initiative? Um, they can visit um, endingpovertynow.org. Uh, we do have a website. Um, and again, that uh, web address is endingpovertynow.org. And there is a significant amount of information about the initiative, some of the pilot programs, as well as some of the partner organizations that comprise our MAPI. All right. Dr. Brock, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Up next in Health Watch, the Salmonella.